I got no coffee today. Kind of feel uh, out of place with no coffee right now. But I already had enough coffee this morning, so. Can't stay, I gotta work. It's okay, happy Thursday guys, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, we got one more day after today until the weekend. Who's excited for the weekend? Lunch break live, nice, nice. I thought you'd be in Georgetown. I know I was gonna say hashtag um, not going, my mom will not be in the video or in the live because I took a picture of my mom. Um, so yeah, I should have said that because I knew you guys would think she might be in the live or something. I think I'm gonna get snowed in. Oh, nice, nice. That sucks. How was grocery shopping? I did not go grocery shopping. Still gotta go grocery shopping. Love the new TikToks, thank you. Last night, I went on like a spree. It's like 12 TikToks, I think. It was pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Especially being in the Niagara room, felt comfy. And I was like, yo, let's go. Let's get her done. Loved them all, loved them all. Thank you guys. Thank you. I'm pretty sure Dawson's battles tonight. So I think I'm gonna watch that. You look at peace, bro. Oh, thank you. Um, what'd you do yesterday? Um, yesterday I made TikToks and then I went to pick up my acting stuff. Um, I didn't do acting yesterday cause I was a little late. So we did it this morning instead, um, which was good. Got it tomorrow morning too. Um, saw my mom and my brother for a little bit, saw my sister and came back. Um, after this, I'm gonna watch this movie um, that I've been waiting to watch since last night. I forget what it's called though. It's like a war movie. And then I'm gonna go hit the gym and then get a little packed for Ottawa because tomorrow I leave for Ottawa. So guys, I will not be, um, I probably won't be on social media Saturday, Sunday, just a warning. I'm um, taking the weekend to just go do my digitals, spend time with my dad and chill out. And then I'll be back on Monday. So Dawson, is it today? Today, but I will be going live tomorrow. Um, so you'll, we'll see me be, you guys will see me before the weekend starts. So we'll have a nice live tomorrow, get ready for the weekend, take a couple days off, and then back at it Monday. Um, so yeah, PJ is going to Ottawa, yes. Um, PJ is coming to Ottawa. Um, back to Dawson guys. So what is going on with Dawson is Dawson's live to Dawson's out of the tournament Was it last night? Like am I missing it again? When was it guys? It's tonight, okay battles for number three Okay, nice. That that's that's gonna be pretty fun. Um, I would have been number one probably, so I should have been in the tournament. But hey, we'll take number three. He's from the states though. Um, apparently, there's no Canadian creators that can join. Um, and yeah, he sent you a universe. Did he just send me a universe? Yo, thanks, Dawson. Thank you, bro. Um, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. It was global. So who, do you guys know who the number one spot is? Who's fighting for number one spot? This is really intriguing me that it feels like the world juniors of um, live battles, which is freaking cool. Um, so I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get to do it. 
It seems like a popular thing though, like 6,000 people are watching it, which seems like it's really popular. So that's why I'm a little disappointed because it would be cool to do that. Japan's number one. Okay, who's Japan playing? It's like March Madness. I know, right? Frick. It's freaking cool. Yo, what's up, Dawson? What's up, bro? I think you're in here. Who's your favorite TikToker? Um, my favorite TikToker out of all the boys. Um, that's a good question. What happened to your quantity over quality with the TikToks? Um, so like I said, um, the qual quality, like just because I make a bunch of TikToks doesn't mean they're not from the heart and really hardcore TikToks. Um, I just meant like, I don't want to bump them out when I'm not like really feeling like I love them. But like, I can feel like I love a lot in like an hour. I can bump out a lot. And um, so yeah, that's the answer to your question. They were all awesome. They were all quality. Yes, they were all quality. Um, I was just, sometimes I get in a mood where I can just bang out like 20 freaking TikToks because I'm just feeling like good, feeling funny, feeling, you know, all the above. So I'm like, all right, let's go bumping out some TikToks. Um, but sometimes I don't feel like I'm in the mood and I'll still try to like bump one out like half ass kind of. And that's what I mean by like, try to get the quality over just putting stuff out there for quantity, trying to go for like what I really want to post type shit. Um, so yeah, that's what I meant by that. TikToks were amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I definitely do a lot of the same songs. Um, but sometimes I feel like I can make the song, like the TikTok better doing it again. So that's why I do the same songs. That's why I do the same songs. My favorite one yesterday was probably the one where the model pose. I like doing the typing ones too. I find them funny. Um, so yeah, that was probably my favorite one. What was your guys' favorite one out of all the TikToks yesterday? Excuse me. The funny model pics. Loved your Christmas light one. Oh, thank you. Love the Christmas light one. That means a lot because the Christmas light one was a little... Like last minute, I didn't think it'd be like too good. Like, but it turned out when I watched it later, I was like, yo, it's actually a really good TikTok. But I knew it wouldn't like do really good. It wasn't like a really good TikTok, but it was still a nice TikTok, you know? The silent one. Okay, a lot of the silent one. Nice. Like the one where I was pretending to talk, right? Nice. Yeah, the advice for me, yeah. Um, yeah, that one was cool. The cool thing with the silent one was like, you don't even have to like hear what someone says. You just kind of got to feel like what they're like trying to feel like pushing you up. And then it's kind of like, yeah, that's what I needed. You know, don't even know really what you said, but I feel your energy, bro. And you're like, get up, get up. So I thought that was cool. Um, yeah. And that's what makes me sometimes feel like, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. 
So today is Thursday. Um, how's everyone feeling today on Thursday? Um, today, um, I've been taking it one step at a time. I tend to do things um, very like, I try to do like 50, th- like that's an over exaggeration, but I try to do multiple things in one hour, just say. So if, I'm, if I have an hour to study my acting, I'm doing acting and then I'm doing some push-ups and I'm texting and I'm doing like three things at once. So today I was kind of like, you know what? I'm going to take it slow. I'm going to, I'm going to like stop being like, like, because just say like, I'm like studying my acting. I always think like, you know what? I'm going to do some push-ups too to get like the push-ups out of the way while I study acting, you know, kill all the stones at once or whatever. But then I was like, so today, anyway, today I was practicing doing things slower. Um, So when I'm studying my acting, take the whole hour, study your acting, do nothing else. Then the next hour, you go to the gym, etc. So really trying to be slow and steady kind of process, not putting too much things at once, taking my time with everything. Because you do a bunch of things half-assed, you're going to have a half-assed life, you know, you got to kind of... So yeah, I was practicing that this morning, so it was good. Um, did a lot of reading, almost fell asleep on the couch because I was reading my acting so much. Um, but it was nice, I felt felt comfortable, felt like it was my own space to chill on the couch. Um, and because um, sometimes my mind can go everywhere but then when I'm just reading something and it doesn't matter what I'm reading but when I'm like in a comfortable position I'm reading you feel so like ah uh, you know yeah you feel like you're in the moment and you're just like just enjoy it you can have fun you write your notes so um, yeah I think that's the biggest practice for me trying not to be all over the place and trying to like really stay in one spot and do the stuff I have to do, you know? So it's pretty cool. Um, so I felt good about that today. Um, it's still early in the day. It's 12 o'clock. I still want to hit the gym. I want to do some things. Um, so um, got to take it one step at a time. Uh, I think I got to get my passport renewed today. Um, so yeah. But yeah, that was pretty much it. Nap time for me. I know after this live, I'm gonna take the, I'm taking two hours to watch this movie that I've been waiting to watch, and then I'll go to the gym. Um, But I'm gonna do a little afternoon chill out um, for sure. By the way, thank you everyone for the gifts. Thank you so freaking much. Um, Thank you, thank you. What movie? So I'm forgetting what movie, but it's like about a guy that goes to war in Afghan and it's like pretty like intense movie, but I totally forget the movie, but yeah, I'm excited to watch it. I like war movies and stuff. They're fun. They're fun. Who's in it? See, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do you watch Yellowstone? I don't watch Yellowstone, but I heard it's really good. Yellowstone. Love story. No, it's a war story. It's like a war movie. It's intense. Like I think he goes overseas and he's like in Afghanistan. I'll find the movie for you guys so we can all, but it's a really good movie. Good movie. I'll get that for you guys though. Um, I just forget right now. Do you like the Titanic movie? Honestly, I can't even remember what the Titanic movie, like I don't even remember watching it. I think I watched it in like school or something, but I have no interest in watching the Titanic for some reason. I'm just like, I think I've seen so many edits and stuff that I've already seen it. I know what's going to happen. So I don't think like I'm not interested in watching it um, again, but it is a really cool story and it's like crazy and whatever. It's like, wow, Um, it's an interesting movie. The sixth ship sinks, yeah. Ship sinks, yeah. The movie is so long.
Yeah, but it's a definitely an interesting movie. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think it's a love story too, kind of, right? It's a, I think it's a love story. I could be sounding so stupid right now, I'm sorry, but um, yeah, I think it's a love story, right? Yeah, it's a love story. So that's another thing. I haven't been really into the love stories, you know? Um, so I just, but I'll get interest to watch that again. I know I will. Titanic's a great movie, great story, um, iconic. So there's no chirp in that. It's it's unreal. Um, just haven't had the urge to watch it lately. That's all. Yeah, no, I know I'm supposed to be a lover, um, but I'm very into like war right now. You know. Um, so I like the war stuff. I like the adventure. It's like, whoa, like imagine that happen, you know? So. I'm bad already. Exactly. And comedy and comedy. Comedy is really funny too. I really like comedy movies. Yeah. But yeah, action movies, now thinking about it, are like so freaking cool. Cause like you feel like even after the action movie that you're kind of like in the action movie in a way. Not in it, but like you feel like adventurous after. You're like, whoa, I'm gonna go to the gym and a dinosaur is gonna come through the top roof and I'm gonna have to like do my kung fu fighting on this dinosaur. You know, you kind of feel like into it. So please do more acting TikToks. I will, I will. I'll find some good ones. Um, it's just hard to find a lot of sounds that I like. There's like minimum sounds, um, but I'll try to find some good ones. Yeah. Thrillers are good. Thrillers are good. I don't like scary movies. Um, don't like scary movies. I know I'm not the biggest fan of scary movies either, but sometimes like the odd one is really good. Like, have you guys seen Smile? Has anyone seen Smile in here? Smile was a really good um, scary movie. Thank you for the gifts, guys. Yeah, so a lot of people seen Smile. I like Smile because um, as much as it's about a demon, I kind of believe that it's also about like a disease going around the world where like if you look in someone's eyes you can like catch that disease and then like you that person turn so it was like really cool like it was like really scary like almost kind of real like that could happen so I really like smile the ending was kind of weird when the monster goes in the person's body and stuff I was like what the heck but but yeah it was pretty scary I was so scared. My brother was sitting, laying beside me and we were literally like freaking out. My brother had his BB gun like on his lap. Like we thought someone was going to come through the door. Um, it was pretty scary. <clears throat> Do you like your script character right now? Um, that's a really good question. I was talking about this today. Um, the the self tape that I'm going to be doing next is the one I've been talking about where I have cancer, etc. And to be honest, I love that character reason why I love that character is because he's about to die, which is very sad. But for some reason, when I put myself in his shoes, I feel a little better about like, you know what? Like we only do have one life. Life comes to an end. We got to enjoy it. So through the scene, I really um, feel it. And I really like it. I really like it. I'm really excited for the self tape. And I really like reading it. So it's really cool. I like that. I like that. Are your feet ticklish? Um, yes, my feet are actually, no, actually not really, no, not bad. Does acting make you more empathetic? See, that's the biggest reason 
That's a really good question. And that is the biggest reason why I love acting is because of how much empathy you have to put out and how good it makes you feel when you're not in your own shoes. You're kind of like putting yourself in someone else's shoes and living that life. It kind of feels like a fresh start. It feels like you're, yeah, you're more in touch with the world. Like it's really freaking cool. And that's why I love acting. And uh, my acting coach always makes my day because he's so much like that. He's so much like shows empathy. He finds the little things fun, you know, like some people might call it like a little nerdy, but I love that side of people just being really like into like little things and stuff. So yeah, it's really freaking cool. He always makes my day. It's all, I always feel better after. So um, acting is good. Acting is just good lying. No, that's not true. Um, Cause you're supposed to, you're not supposed to lie. You're supposed to be yourself, but showing being someone else, but you have to like be yourself in the, or it's not like authentic. You know what I mean? You have to like be yourself. Did you do school plays? I did a couple school plays um, in like grade nine but that was just like drama class. Like, and there was one that was like in front of the assembly, but I wasn't like really into it. No, no. Like wasn't really into it. Like I wasn't like the whole big drama kid. I kind of had to take drama. So I did like a little play, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but to be honest, I really like my acting coach, he used to do plays all the time and going back, I wish I was, did a lot of plays, especially cause I'm in this field now. Um, but I, I was the athlete, you know, that was more my thing. So yeah. Theater is so hard. Yeah. I can see theater being so insane because they're not just like cutting, like, Oh, like do this. All right. Cut next cut. It's like, you're in front of everyone. And if you mess up, you got to keep going. You know what I mean? So it's like pretty crazy. Do you get nervous in front of a crowd? I do get nervous. Um, but I know how to get through the nerves. Like there's like a barrier, like there's like a barrier. And once I like really open up and I accept that I could be embarrassed by it. Um, and I accept that it's okay that I'm embarrassed and everyone accepts me. It's all about being accepted. The word of the day yesterday, when you feel accepted, you can mess up so much and you still feel like you're loved and accepted. So yeah, as soon as you get that feeling of like, I'm accepted in here, this is my job. If I fuck up, it's whatever. Then you start feeling like really like start trying things, being skillful, like being a little like playful. And then, then people are like, whoa, like this person has confidence. Like, look at him. He doesn't even care if he messes up with the little things. He keeps moving forward. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm not, but to when I first go in, I'm super nervous. Like I gotta, you gotta break the nerves right away and keep going. And you also have to have energy and you gotta keep going, you know? You look so chill today. I know I'm chill, it feels good. I'm, this is the fourth day in a row of going live. Um, I'm sitting talking to you guys, um, feeling on schedule more, I'm doing my act, like I'm just feeling pretty chill, pretty good. Um, obviously, there's always things like future plans, all this stuff, worries, whatever, but um, just taking it day by day and uh, fighting through it. So yeah, overall, I am feeling pretty good lately pretty freaking good so it's good feeling good
Thank you for tapping the screen, getting the likes on the board, guys. Thank you so much. Love the IG pick. Thank you. Um, I love that pick too. I was on IMG's website and then I saw that picture of me and I was like, yo, I need to find out the photographer. So I found out the photographer and then I was like, posting this one. And then I thought it'd be a cool caption because it looks like I'm kind of searching for something. It looks like I'm a little cold too, maybe. So I'm like, searching for summer, you know? Summer, everyone's kind of searching for summer. It's after Christmas. We're kind of done with winter. So I thought that'd be a sick caption. So I put that. I was like, yeah. Paris, yeah, that was Paris. Paris was unreal. Um, hopefully go again soon. Um, yeah, got digitals again this weekend. So that'll be cool. Five inches of snow. You matured so much in this past year. Oh, thank you. Sounds like fun. How does... How does one get on your Instagram? It's private, question mark? No, it's not private. Um, if you go to my TikTok, there's a little box, I think, of my Instagram emoji, and you just press it. Um, but it's William White 18 If you just search up William White 18 that's my Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, guys so um yeah we uh new fans keep finding you i know a lot of fans are new fans are coming um lately and they're like where have you been where have you been and i'm like wow i've actually kind of been gone for a little bit it's true it's like you know go from going on every day to never going on and you're like whoa where did you go um you could have any superpower, would it be? I don't know. I think your smile is your money shot. Yeah, it is for sure. It is for sure. That's why I want to work more on the straight face. You know, I don't want to just be a cheeser all day. I want to work on like the straight, sexy face. So it takes time, practice, Zoolander type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Welcome new fans. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Now your room is the best lighting. Now your room is the best lighting. This window is huge. And it's not even like, it's not even um, sunny out today. It's a rainy day today in Niagara Falls. And uh, the lighting's sick, so. Gotta love the lighting in here. Gotta love it. You made my day, thank you. Any more new artwork? No, no more artwork. I just got my journal back today, so I'll do a little bit of scribbling when I feel like it and then I'll show you guys some sick artwork if I get it done um, and yeah what's your favorite place you visited and favorite place I visited probably Paris yeah Paris um, another thing someone asked is the most nervous part of this year was probably the red carpet. I was very nervous, but I did it really good. The nerves kicked in and it was good. Merch drop. Merch drop. I am waiting 
on that um i will let you guys know i'm just not confident on a date when we'll be dropping it i'm still talking to um my agency and stuff and they're gonna get back to me just with like yeah it's a it's a lot of back background stuff you know um just wanna because there's also like you know you gotta listen to your management obviously because they also have a certain image so there's a lot of negotiations of like how how it wants to go how we're gonna portray it kind of preparing for the future so that's why it's just been a little slow but um hopefully asap we can um get some good merch out and um and i got my uncle bill helping me with that and some other people which i respect so freaking much they're taking their time out of their own lives to help and do this so i respect so much and i just hope that we can do this soon um but i'm really in no rush because i do want my management to be happy with what we're doing so and all the above so just working out some things you know um a lot of people might think my life's all sunshine rainbows uh being able to go live every day but it is a lot of decisions planning for my future it's it's a lot of different stuff that some people wouldn't totally understand you know you got to kind of be in that position so it's tough you know um but it's gonna be it's all gonna be good we're gonna have a really good year this year i believe so um i think you guys do too and it's gonna be good it's gonna be good merch drop idea artwork yeah i was thinking that too um but it would be i think for now this is what i'm just thinking off the top of my head i changed my mind but i think for now we could do like my artwork on merch but i'm not going to sell papers of merch um because i'm not an artist yet you know i'm not i'm not an artist maybe i am but i like to think maybe one day um but i don't know it's just kind of like a fun thing but yeah putting it on journals and stuff like that or posters or whatever is pretty cool especially if you guys really like it so we'll figure that out um yeah number five thank you guys for the gifts thank you so much all right so love the journal the journal looks freaking cool i have to admit love the journal Are you going to bring the mullet back? Mm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. Just, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Dawson is mustaching you. Dawson. All right, listen, guys. We're going to pick a word of the day, and then I think in five minutes we'll get off, um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, let's do a little vote if you guys want to do. Actually, I don't even think we have a choice. Yeah, we don't. I have acting in the morning, so let's do noon again tomorrow. I'll make a post about it to make sure that it's finalized. But I think noon again tomorrow. Do you guys like the noon lives? I know a lot of people are starting to want evening lives because after work and stuff. So I'm going to try to do that. But for now, I am doing morning lives, evening. I mean, morning, afternoon lives. All right, sweet, sweet. Thank you, thank you. Um... So yeah, let's go. Let's pick a word. I'm gonna pick really hard. Today is, a, today is Thursday. It is almost the end of the week. We want to feel um, like successful in our week. We want to feel like we've followed some words follow, and followed ourselves, etc., etc. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, let's pick a really good word and then get on with it just organizing it here and trying to figure out what we should pick if you guys want to guess in the chat see which one
hear me? I feel like it glitched out there. Can everyone hear me? Going once, going twice. Um, okay, um, here we go. Everyone can hear me. Um, all right, this is a word that I really want to pick. Um, I think it's a perfect word. Um, Um, because I've been having some trouble following this recently. Um, so today I want to put it into some practice and, um, yeah, put it into some practice. So today we're going to pick trust, trust. We're going to trust, trust ourselves, trust the process and just trust that we're all going to be okay it's going to be good we're going to have a good day and whatever we're working towards is going to feel good so the word of the day today is trust we're going to trust i like that word today trust I think I need a full send word so I can just be like, today's Friday, word of the day, full send. Let's go. But yeah, trust is the word of the day. Um, my phone is gonna die soon. We got one minute, so we're gonna wrap it up right now. Um, I think that was a really good live. Um, I hope you guys had fun. Again, thank you 1.2 people for being in here. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, it's a rainy day today, but I'm gonna trust that behind the rain, there's a sun chilling and he's ready, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, but yeah, so let's have a good day. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow at noon. And yeah, trust the process guys. Take it one step at a time and uh, love you guys. Enjoy the movie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. We got one minute. I'm going to wait till that one minute hits. There it is. All right, guys. Goodbye. Bye, guys.